The work of our indicator focuses on the social emotional learning of students and how we can foster strong teachers that work on that social emotional learning within the classroom. So that work aligned with the work that we're doing this year with PLC Plus has come to a great convergence. So in PLC Plus, we were able to find a student feedback survey where students are just asked a few simple questions and you can see some of those next to me right now. We have asked that every classroom teacher, if they are a core teacher, an elective teacher, or a special ed teacher, to have students complete this survey in their class. So an average sixth or seventh grader would do five surveys, an eighth grader would do six. And we are asking for students to answer these questions about how they feel valued in their classrooms. This is going to provide us a ton of evidence as we move forward this year that will help guide our work. This will help pair with what we're doing with Second Step to see what gaps we have in student comfort levels, student excitement about school, and students' visions of being, being valued. So please make sure that you are advocating on your grade level and your elective team in your department to make sure that everyone is giving these so that we can have great data about all of our kids. Because when we work, we wanna make sure that every student's voice is heard as we proceed to make sure that we have a very strong team here at Durant Road Middle School. Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us. Um, we did have to change our delivery method due to kind of multiple after school um, obligations and, and sort of conflicts there. So thanks for joining us via our Canva presentation. Um, I will be covering a few things to include our big ideas and committee work that we completed last year. I think we had a very successful year and, and made some great um, movement towards where we wanna head as far as social and emotional learning at Durant Road Middle. Um, I'm also gonna cover a brief Indistar update which is the platform through which our leadership action steps and objectives and goals, um, as well as kind of progress monitoring are housed. And lastly, a quick few reminders prior to our first quarterly review. Um, so for those of you that might need a refresher or are new to our committee, last year uh, we worked quite hard and made some great um, progress with a few of our action steps and items to include developing and implementing a second step uh, core level instruction plan. Um, based on feedback from both students and staff, we have um, up to the implementation frequency for this school year. And so all of our children will be receiving twice a month second step lessons at each grade level, as well as um, electives once, excuse me, a lesson once a month in electives, their second elective. Um, so we're really proud of that work. Um, and our next step would be to consider how we are going to not only collect implementation data, which we have, but effectiveness data of this intervention and, and this support for our students. So um, we wanna continue to think around those ideas. We also began the creation of an SEL staff uh, website for Durant Road Middle School under the leadership of Mike. So thank you so much. We do have a shell and very initial start to that website based on some staff feedback. Um, so we will continue to work on that this school year um, and we will get to that here in the near future. And our last big work was surrounded upon student feedback. And thanks to Mary Robert and Olympia, we did receive some student feedback um, specific to remote learning um, and that platform and comfort level in classes. Um, so we probably do want to shift just a little bit this school year. Um, and I'm thankful that we'll be able to use the student survey that has been asked of all teachers to administer to students. Um, and we can use that as our starting point moving forward this school year. Um, so we will continue that work um, that we started last year. Secondly, as I mentioned, Indistar is the platform through which leadership action items uh, progress monitoring objectives are housed. Um, in looking at that, we do have at least one action step that is outdated um, and is not where our current focus is. So in future meetings, we will be focusing on um, updating that accordingly and adding in the work that we are doing and the progress that we are making. Um, so just wanted to keep everyone in the loop about that. Um, also around Indistar and, and data collection, if everyone could continue to think as a team and we'll come back together to discuss further ways to collect data to measure our action steps and the effectiveness of those steps and then use that at each quarterly review. Of course, for this first quarterly review, our focus will be on our implementation data for second step and then the student survey data that we receive. 
um, through those surveys that everyone is administering. So that will be the focus of our first quarterly review. Um, a couple of reminders, we do have our first quarterly review September 16th after school. Um, I do believe that we will schedule one after school meeting um, is what I'm thinking at this point, probably next week. Um, based on the data that re we receive from the student surveys, we'll come back together, analyze that and create um, some updates for that first quarterly review. So more info to come on that. I appreciate your patience and flexibility there. Um, and then, like I said, we will have a quarterly review meeting on September 16th. So we look forward to everyone joining us for that meeting. Um, thank you so much. And please let myself refer know if you have any questions or need anything. Thank you.